Welcome back to San Diego Studios. Uh, me and Frank a while ago said that if we hit 12,000 patrons that we were going to do a full drag episode, and today that is happening, so we're getting a behind the scenes. We hired uh, professional uh, makeup artist Derek Medina, and he is going to make us look pretty, I hope. I am ready. I think I'm ready. Is anyone ever truly ready? This is my first time ever doing like makeup since I was like six. I have been told that by the YouTube comments section that the moment I shave, I lose my jawline. Uh-huh. So can you give me one back? Absolutely. Perfect. What is this stuff? So I'm just cleansing. Oh, OK. <laughs> just so a I'm little just, prep. I'm just in a. Water. <laughs> yeah. It's going to look great. <laughs> Listen, my face is your playground. <laughs> Play away. Are you a queen as well? No. Okay. That's not like inappropriate to ask, right? I just no. want to make sure I'm not upsetting anyone. No, no, no. There's plenty of uh, bearded drag queens. Yeah, I've seen that with like long beards. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. Like full on beards and they'll like color and put glitter and. Yeah. Just moisturize. <laughs> I said, this shit is cold. <laughs> also got super offended for a second because I thought this was uh, like foundation. I'm like, this is white as fuck. <laughs> Like, damn, what is my skin tone? So was this a request from the... Honestly, I don't think it was. <laughs> I was like, where did the, the, the whole drag yeah. thing come from? I don't remember why it happened. I think that um, we had just been talking about something with drag queens or something. And then we were like, oh, that'd be, we'll, we'll do that if we hit this like milestone. And then it became real, very, like <laughs> much quicker than I thought it was going to happen. So... Here we are. Now you're just doing right now, this is just a, a, a glue stick. Yes. I feel like I probably did this when I was in second grade. Like the fun part, the gluing the brows down. Glue the brows down? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like he's giving my eyebrows a shape up. So what would you say are like the key essentials to a successful drag queen? Like what are like, if you could narrow it down to like four elements that would really, that you need to work on or, or hone in on. You really have to understand your overall aesthetic. Okay. When was the last time you talked to Frank? Two. Is there stuff on my face right now? <laughs> oh, okay. He texted me this morning. He goes, did you, did you shave your face? I was like, no, nah, I just buzzed it really low. He's like, you're a pussy. I was, like, right. <laughs> I was like, all right. Do you think the drag community is a little like Star Trek fans, like they're gatekeepers? Like if I don't know about, you know, the photon model from episode four, season eight in Star Trek, is the drag community like that? Like if you're not all in, they don't want you there or are they more welcoming? Uh, they're definitely more welcoming now. They once upon a time, yes. They were like definitely that. not. I like that. Cause now as as welcoming as they, as they are now. I like that, because not only do I know nothing about Star Trek, I really don't know much about drag, so. I also like don't think I want to know what it looks like until I'm done. I gotta say, it is oddly perfect that you got that dress, and I'll tell you why. Because after I picked the red wig, I was going for like a Mystique from X-Men vibe. Mm. Oh. So one of my names, one of my names that I came up with is Mystique the Greek. All right, before we move forward with this video, we do have a sponsor for today, which is HelloFresh, and HelloFresh is gonna help you attack one of your resolutions. The end of the year is here, uh, New Year's is coming up, or it's already here, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, but HelloFresh is a great way to uh, you know, eat healthier and get into cooking. So two resolutions that people normally have, they wanna start cooking more, they wanna stop eating out less, uh, they want to start eating out less, and they also want to eat healthier, which you can do with HelloFresh. You go on their site, you pick out the meals that you want, um, and they have like a bunch of things to choose from. On average, uh, their meals have 20% fewer calories than takeout. All of their stuff also is like, you know, high quality uh, food. It's not, you know, whatever. Yeah, so it's great. You go on their site, you pick it out, and then it shows up to your door, pre-portioned uh, ingredients, and you get to make this thing in your own kitchen. You just follow the recipe they give you. And there you go, you got a great meal. And it's more affordable than eating takeout or going to a restaurant or anything like that. On top of it being already affordable, more affordable than uh, you know takeout or anything like that, you can save even more money uh, by going to hellofresh.com slash santagato21 and use the code santagato21 for 21 free meals and free shipping. That's a lot. This is also like my mom's like favorite company because she loves cooking and she loves you know getting new ideas for recipes. So if that's something you're into, definitely hit them up. They're amazing. I've used it numerous times. Love HelloFresh. HelloFresh.com slash Santagato21. Get to it. How are you coming up with what you're going to do? Tell me, are you just kind of like freestyling or you have an idea in your head of what it's going to look like when it's done? I'm really kind of doing it based on like your bone structure. Okay. 
bone structure, skin tone, the fact that you chose the blonde yeah. wig. Okay. So it's all kind of be, got to be like cohesive. Yes. Got it. And how's my bone structure? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, your, it's just your bone structure. <laughs> what would be funny is if I get a call right now from Becca that she's going into labor. <laughs> you look great. Do I? Yeah. I'm not you're even already, done, dude. You're already less scary. Have you ever worked with someone that refuses to shave their facial hair because of their lack of it's a It's a genre of drag. It is? Yes. It is. What is it called? Bearded queens. Bearded queens. Like there you that. go. Yeah. Like a bearded dragon. Yes. I guess. I look like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a cat. I kind of like it, though. Can't believe I'm becoming a drag queen. I once had a girlfriend. Tell me if this is something that would get someone fired. And by fired, I mean broken up with. <laughs> we were in the car uh -huh. singing. Uh, no, we weren't singing. We were in the car, and there was music on, and I started to sing it, and she put her hand over my mouth and said, shh, that's really bad. Yeah. You've gotten your makeup done before, right? This is not my first time in drag. What? Yeah. What the fuck? I thought we were both going into this first timers. Uh, well. Well. What, what He's experienced. Well. Makeup has such a smell, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like rosy, but also like sand, like rose sand. Have you come up with any names? The name will reveal itself, Frank. I've come up with a couple names that I want to play out. Do you want to throw one at me? Like your least favorite one? My least favorite one is Ginger the Mouth. <laughs> I feel like you're going porn star for some reason. No one's allowed to touch my nipples but me. And even then, I don't do it. Some people love nipple play. Joe? It honestly doesn't feel like there's anything on my face. I think Joey's in there transforming. He's like a beautiful butterfly. How does anyone do this on themselves? A lot of practice. I was gonna say, it's gotta be super tough. Honestly, scarily enough, I look like my grandmother. <laughs> that grandma must have been really fabulous. Grandma was. She was a beauty queen. Yeah, she was Gloria from Astoria. She won the Miss Astoria pageant. Yes, Gloria from Astoria. That? That's fucking gold! That See that? Happened? Right? We, we locked eyes, and I became Gloria from Astoria. Do you want to see before we do lip, or do you want to just All do right. the full? I'll take a look. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. This is, this just looks nothing like me. Bro, how do people see out of eyelashes? Like, a, a third of my vision is completely, like, gone right now. The eyebrows are fucking fire, are they? <laughs> okay. How do I look? I look good? Fucking amazing. All right! It doesn't feel like there's anything on my face, but I will say that my eyelashes are heavy. It's taking everything out of me not to just go like this. This is a process. It was like almost two hours in makeup. Like, that's a lot. You don't realize it. Also, this is my dress, and I will say this. Something needs to be done about you know, uh, women's bodies or something because the fact that this is an XL and it's this tight is just insane. Like, what, is an, what does an XS look like? I have no idea. Frankie has a beautiful blue dress. I've been told I look like uh, the drag bartender from Shrek. <laughs> Which, I'm not upset about that, honestly. This is also me before the hair. I have a big, long, blonde wig that I'm gonna be wearing. And I feel like that's gonna be like the cherry on top. I don't got boobies. I mean, I do, but that's just because I like Taco Bell, you know, not because like I have like a bust. I think during my transformation, I became, uh, do you want me to say it? I think I'm, I might be Gloria from Astoria. After this, we just have to do wigs and then uh, start recording the episode, which I don't even know what we're talking about today. We just, I don't think we planned on that. We just kind of planned on getting our makeup done. True story. That was my grandmother's name. She was in a beauty pageant and she won like Miss Beautiful Astoria. So now I'm making her proud. <laughs> How do you feel, Yaya? Yeah. She's gone. She can't hear this. Yeah, she's, she's, she's dead. If you guys want to watch the podcast, you can go to patreon.com slash the basement yard, by the way. Uh, it, it'll be uh, under that second tier where you get exclusive episodes. Exclusive. I said that mad weird. You get exclusive episodes every Friday. Um, so this will be one of them right before the new year. So happy holidays. Sign up for that Patreon. And this is the kind of shit that we do when we hit milestones. I look like Madonna now. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank, how's it going? Uh, don't, that's not my name today. Oh, fuck you. Oh.